Hi there, I'm Dominic London for LEGO Bricks and today we're going to be reviewing the LEGO City Coast Guard 4x4 and Diving Boat Set number 60012 which consists of 128 pieces and 2 minifigures. So this set consists of a truck, trailer and a boat for that trailer. So let's start with the truck itself which is really the main attraction. This is an odd design, it's very different, it's not really like any other truck out there. It's got weird proportions, perhaps not the most realistic looking but I think it's really bold, it's unique and it's toy like which is really suitable for just playing with it and not necessarily just looking at it or putting it in a city. There's a lot of intricate details on the truck as well as the boat. You've got these lights up here. You also have this really rather detailed diving set. You've got an oxygen tank, you've got flippers, and then you have the head apparatus, as well as a phone clipped to the side of the truck and a megaphone. So there's a lot of stuff going on there. But they've, they've managed to do it really well. Nothing looks over the top. Nothing looks under detailed, nothing looks too detailed. The colour scheme actually does work really well for the truck. You've got this orange and blue colour and uh, a lot of white as well. And it really does work, it reminds you of a Coast Guard kind of setting. And on the truck itself you've got very well placed colours. You've got this orange strip down here, you've got bits of blue, hints of blue and then you've got white at the top portion. Then at the back you have two rear lights and a number plate. The trailer is actually the weakest part of this set for me. It's not that it's too simple, I like how simple it is, I just don't like the way it's designed. It's too short for the boat because the boat actually does stick out quite a lot. That engine detail, which I do like, it's, it's really nice engine detail, um, which adds extra length to the boat means that the boat overhangs a bit. The second flaw with this trailer is that it doesn't have any way of standing up by itself. I think LEGO could have really easily just fixed this by adding a simple little clip-on piece that would attach to the trailer attachment. And then finally the third flaw with the trailer is that the piece which attaches the trailer to the boat most of the time it actually comes off with the boat so you have to constantly be putting it back on which is kind of a pain and i also think the boat itself has too many stickers it's really unnecessary obviously it's one large piece the dinghy so it's kind of hard to add much detail but i still think there are too many stickers the minifigures are actually really impressive you've got two distinct minifigures but they both are obviously part of a coast guard scenario you've got the driver or uh, well he can be in the boat too but lego show him driving the car and he has an orange attire with a buoyancy aid or life jacket and then the other guy is very similar but he has a grey top i'm guessing he's a higher rank because he's got this shirt on and then he's got blue trousers. One inconsistency is that the driver actually has a boinsied printed on to his body whereas the boat diver has a separate one. That's it, that's been our review of the LEGO City Coast Guard 4x4 and diving boat set. If you enjoyed please do press the like button. If you didn't enjoy please do press the dislike button, subscribe to see more, leave a comment down below with your thoughts on this set or this video. Once again, I'm Dominic London for LEGO Bricks and I thank you very much for watching and hope to see you again very soon.